drive in on your Wednesday morning and we continue our Super Bowl coverage live in Houston. Let's check in with Kate Merrill. Kate, what's going on? Good morning, Chris. We're live at NRG Stadium this morning, the site of Super Bowl 51, the big game. And they say, you know what? Everything is bigger in Texas. Officials here in Houston hope that social media will turn the big game into big bucks and score them some more visitors. Going to the Super Bowl in Houston means lots of sights, Gigi, don't photo bomb. sounds, and sharing. So it's nice to take pictures to put up on, oh, say your Facebook page. And right now I'm taking one that can be my Facebook background. Joan Strait is busy taking it all in and then passing it on on her Facebook page. And that's exactly what the city is banking on. And the last time we hosted Super Bowl was in 2004. Social media really wasn't even a thing so much back then. So now we have this opportunity, unprecedented for us, to really show uh, the world what Houston's all about. Houston tourism officials know the power of the Super Bowl on television, but on social media, it's a whole new world. Forget the broadcast itself. This is selling of the city from one friend to another. So we hope that we get more folks coming down and, and just interested in Texas in general. And online exposure means big money, so the city even added extra infrastructure to handle the online load, so your tweets will be free to fly no matter the crowd size. It's a winning game plan that locals are already cheering. I mean, this is a great city. Been living here all my life. Uh, it's good, like I said, that Super Bowl's here, so everybody can see what a great city this is. And you know what? It's a pretty great city. There's so much to do. The weather has been awesome, and locals say they've noticed a difference. It's been easier to get service and to get on social media in large crowds. We'll have to see on Sunday here if that actually helps. We, of course, will be watching that for you. But coming up this morning, they